Hi there Leo, thank you for joining me for your monthly forecast for December. The month begins with the sun sparkling in Sagittarius, your sister fire sign. This is an opportunity for you, particularly on the 11th when there's a great new moon, for you to demonstrate what makes you different. Your personality power is generally boosted when the sun moves through this sign. Mercury is in this location too, but there are some complications. Because right at the start of this month, the Sun is side by side with Saturn. Saturn is all about structure, but of course it can be rather depleting. And it asks us to really focus our energies on what's really important. If you've got doubts around your love life, with the Sun and Saturn squaring up to Neptune in your sector of commitments, it's possible that you could be feeling a little bit down in the mouth about what the prospects are. Also, Mercury is in this location too, but squaring up to Jupiter, and that's in your sector of resources. And there could be part of you in the first week of this month which wants to be generous, because you are one of the most kind-hearted members of the Zodiac. But if a relationship isn't working, if you're putting more and more emotional and even material effort into trying to please the person that you would like to be a bit different from how they are, it may be a tale of diminishing resources and diminishing spirits too. So you need to be conscious that there is an opportunity this month to, to set in place a realignment. But this realignment may not happen in a kind of planned, strategic way. It may happen more because it just boils up deep within you and suddenly you can find yourself being so much more outspoken. And this can be especially the case if you're the person who is bending over backwards to keep your kids happy, a partner happy, or perhaps there is a creative project you're involved with, you're putting your heart and soul into it, but other people involved in the venture just seem to take and not give. And the nub of your frustration can come from the role of Uranus. Now Uranus in Aries is a very random influence. I always remember watching a program when Uranus first went into Aries. It was on the TV and the astrologer was saying about how wonderful this was going to be. It was going to revolutionize so many things. Well, of course, you can revolutionize things with uh, Uranus passing through Aries, but it's often a reckless influence because it's a kind of do it now, think about it later type of impact. But this month, in its opposition to Mars, which goes from the 5th through to the 19th, if there is any kind of injustice that's being inflicted upon you, you're very likely to suddenly find your voice, and you're going to find it in a big way. And this can see you really putting someone right about what the facts of the situation are. It may also see you doing some random travelling. Someone may invite you to go on a big city journey, perhaps to do some Christmas shopping, or even fly off somewhere, really exciting. But again, it may not come with a lot of warning, and you may have to make a snap decision. The sun is also forging a fantastic link with Uranus in week two, suggesting doing something different can be so good for you. Do remember, Leo, yes, you are a leader, you are fiery, but you're also a fixed sign. And once you get into things, sometimes you will just stick at them and stick at them to the point where everything becomes stale. And sometimes you just have to break free and let things go. And even if this is an awkward time of the year to do that, I do feel being much more avant-garde in your approach to various aspects of your life can be like a huge breath of fresh air and it can illuminate your situation with new ways to do things and give you a lot more fresh energy. So be open to it. Now Mercury is also going to be moving. It moves on the 10th into a more practical location. There is a wonderful new moon on the 11th which finally sees the Sun away from Saturn and this is going to help the more charismatic side of your nature to really come out. But there is on the 18th another quarter moon. This one is in Pisces, again emphasising those deep commitments. And again, it's saying to you, look, are you still continuing to put the energy into something that's not giving you something back? That's the thing to consider. But by the time the Sun moves on the 21st into Capricorn, 
It's an area which is very much to do with organisation. And if you are hosting people this Christmas, then it's your chance to really take care of them. In fact, your care in nature really comes to the fore for much of the month because Venus is moving early on, on the 5th, into an area which is great for cosseting and nurturing, anything to do with property, or even the ties which are much more emotional in your life rather than just glamour or attraction-led. But Venus is going to be moving just at the very end of this month, on the 30th, into a much more glamorous area, and perhaps that's going to be your time to really have fun. I think over Christmas, particularly with a full moon on Christmas Day itself, it could be you making sure that everyone else's practical needs are met. But this is a month when some dramatic changes could come about that could surprise you, they could be quite startling, they could be unsettling, but it ultimately, they could be the best thing that's ever happened. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Good luck, happy Christmas, and goodbye for now.